Okay, so welcome everyone to the um, standing meditation session. Uh, lovely to see the smiles and we are on what? Day three of nine on our home retreat, the quest for true belonging. So today I'm going to share with you some something I've been really experimenting with and actually quite enjoying uh, the standing meditation. And the standing meditation is one of four postures um, that the Buddha taught. Um, we're all familiar with the sitting posture, maybe even heard of the walking meditation. And, uh, but the Buddha also taught laying meditation. So maybe you've heard of the body scan, we do this laying down. Um, and so this is the, the standing meditation, which actually originated in China, it is believed. Um, so it's one of four postures. So I can't see everyone in what you're doing, but we're going to be together for approximately 20 to 30 minutes doing this exercise, 20 minutes of which I will be doing the standing and then we'll um, change back to sitting. But obviously do what is best for you. Um, as much as you can, um, as, you, as much as your body allows you. Um, so I'm, I'm really a guide here. Um, and sometimes we're all coming from different baselines of physical health. And actually, one of the purposes of the standing meditations, one of the ben long term benefits is for endurance. Um, is for health benefits. So it increases circulation. Um, it increases the frontal lobe um, activity. Um, it's obviously very grounding, especially if we really, um, if we really are able to harness and really practice this regularly. So I will invite you all to become researchers and Google standing meditation. Um, look it up on YouTube, do some research, um, really investigate all of these different practices that we're showing you this week. And we have the community um, offering different practices this week. So we're very fortunate. We have um, Imani, tomorrow we'll be showing Qigong, another Chinese practice. So, okay, so if you are still sitting, then let's see if you would like to, to stand up at this point. So thank you, Pat Marie. <laughs> okay. And um, so in this practice, we have the, the feet about width apart. So feet width apart. Yes, make sure that there's nothing around you. Um, any obstacles, if you're doing it at home, you might just want to bend the knees a little bit. And the standing meditation, also known as a tree meditation, doesn't mean that you stand stiff. It does mean that we, we do move the body. We go with the flow. We go with the rhythm of the body. So it's more about tuning in to, to our rhythm, to our body clocks. So let's start with breathing down from the tip of the nostril all the way down the neck and the shoulders. down the upper back, the lower back, down the, down to the chest. And the abdomen. Just continue to, to filter the breath down gradually to the rest of the body. And 
perhaps letting go of any particular concepts about what is the right or wrong way of doing this practice. There is no right or wrong way to, to pay attention. So notice how your weight is distributed onto the heels of the body. Notice where your weight is, what is holding you up. And imagine as your feet are touching the earth, imagine roots actually beginning to, to ferment down to the earth rooting you onto Mother Earth. <sighs> Notice any sensations of heaviness, Notice any inclinations to sit still or to stand still or, or going with the flow if you feel like just rocking the body a little bit, just moving just lightly. And you may notice the interconnectivity of each part of the body. So invite your curiosity into this experience. Notice any particular resistance within the body, any difficulties that may arise, perhaps any pain. Perhaps maybe you, we would think of ours as breathing into the pain or the difficulty, just really being fully present in attending to this difficulty in the kindest way. Notice any inclination to control the breath, to control the body. And as you sink, sink deeper into a state of relaxation and calmness, just perhaps noticing the hands may be floating away from the body gradually, just really naturally, just sensing the vibrational energy field from the body, from the skin, noticing perhaps your shoulders giving way and maybe taking some deep breaths, some deep breaths, dropping the jaw deeply, listening to that out breath. And not really being shy about this, just really letting the breath just go. Perhaps imagining that you're in the forest, surrounded by all these canopies, 
feeling the ground, the earth underneath you. Imagining that all the roots from all the trees underneath supporting you, interconnecting, and that you are part of this ecosystem that is now feeding your body, now energizing your body from the toes, from the tip of the toes. And notice your body just ready to receive this energy, being very familiar with this chi energy, just really be really happy and present with this, with this luminous energy. And as you gradually begin to inhale this energy up through the body, through the knees, to the pelvis, to the solar plexus. Just noticing how the body seems to be awakening. Noticing any, di dif any difference in temperature in, in energy. Perhaps if you are also standing, maybe lifting the arms just a little bit more as if you were holding a balloon. So lifting this and lifting the, the, the the shoulders slightly relax, the fingers touching, pointing upwards. Bending the knees, relaxing the shoulders, maybe smiling if you can, noticing the softness in the face. I wanna see your teeth, everyone, you know? So yeah, noticing the, the joy in this practice, the, 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 the softness as the energy flows through the body, what it does to your, to those, tender muscles around the face to your sense of your energy field. Still bending the knees. Where are the hips? Are your, is your back aligned to the hips? Maybe pointing your, the, the, the hands even further as if, as if you were almost holding the sun in the middle of your body. Still harnessing that energy from the forest, still being with that forest, still releasing all the toxins through the body. And as you release the toxins, allowing the forest just to rejuvenate what you're breathing out. And remember trees also do move. So just sway if you need to sway. And we're almost getting to the end here. And as you gradually, slowly bring your arms down. Are you still releasing? Are you still breathing deeply into the forest? So as you begin to, to collect your energy, 
maybe bringing your legs closer together. I'm thinking of some of these giant redwoods in California, which also exist here in the UK. Standing like this tree, just imagining that we're inhaling nature's goodness, nature's qualities, strengthening our bodies, our minds. Thank you. So I'm gonna <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna invite everyone to give some feedback. So if anybody wants to turn their cameras on and give some feedback, I'll turn I'll also turn the recording off um, in a second. So can we turn this off? <laughs> 